Can we bring Jane out? Is Jane here? What do you think we need to do? We need to stop believing the myths. In yeah. this country, right. what we call education is actually indoctrination. Mm -hmm. And it takes That's... us from the ages of 5 to the age of 18 to ter thoroughly indoctrinate people so that they will believe in the myth of white superiority. And mm. it is a myth. Right. Now, you can't do that while you're teaching that Columbus discovered America. Right. Mm -hmm. There were black people on this continent 4,000 years before Columbus was born. Right. We teach black history in the schools as if it started with slavery. I'm not a white woman. I'm a faded black person. My people moved far from the equator. Mm -hmm. And that's the mm -hmm. only reason my skin is lighter. That's all any white person is. Because wow. we are, are great. Hey. Because there's, no, there's, no, 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 there's no such thing as race. No, there's no such thing as race. There's one race. There's one race. The human race. And then right. you all came from the same black women 300,000 to 500,000 years ago. The human race began with black women. My cousins, and you are all my cousins, make no mistake about this, we are all 30th to 50th cousins because we all have the same black great 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 great, great grandmother back there 300,000 300, to 500,000 years ago. Mm -hmm. So get over the idea that you are white. There's one race. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the human race. The human, human race. race. One race. Now, will every person in this group who's biracial please stand? Biracial. Well, stand. Oh, I told you there's only one race. Oh, oh, God. God. Damn it, you got me. And you, you too. Me. How dare you? Didn't you listen to anything I said? <laughs> we were listening. It, it just takes a minute, Jane. Let me ask you this. How long do you think the idea of race has been around? Since, since, since the beginning the of the time? That's just what I thought you were going to say. <laughs> and you are just as wrong as you can be. I was going to say since around the 1400s. Right. It started with oh, the, wow. Spanish the Spanish Inquisition. Inquisition. Yeah. Before that, race was the not Spanish a problem. But they, they found out that they were killing people who were of their religious belief, but they couldn't tell what their religion was by looking at them. So they had to find another way to identify those they were going to kill. So they set upon skin color. We have also been indoctrinated with the myth of right. white superiority. We've got pictures of the yeah. baby Jesus who looks like the little Pillsbury Doughboy. Right. He didn't look like the Pillsbury Doughboy. That's true. And, and it says in the Bible that Jesus had kinky woolly hair and feet of bronze. Yep. Hmm. If here's what you can do. You can educate yourself. The schools won't do it. They won't. They don't they won't. want you yeah. to know the truth. They right. can't exactly. afford to have blacks know the truth. But what you have to realize is within 30 years, white people will have become a numerical minority in the United States of America. Hmm. Now, blacks and people of other color groups have got to stop playing defense and start playing offense. I think that part of what the responsibility that we as a black community need to take on is educating ourselves and preparing ourselves oh, absolutely. for what's to come. Absolutely. You yes. need to educate yourself yes. and your children yes. before they go to school. Exactly. And when they come home from school spouting this crap that they've learned in school, absolutely. then you need to take them inside and say, here, look at this. Here's what really happened. Right. There's one race, the human race, the and human that's race. the only